Israel Adesanya and Kelvin Gastelum? It's a tough fight. I think if Israel keeps distance and, and stays on the back foot countering, he can win, but he's got to stay away from Kelvin's box. And Kelvin's, is, Kelvin's small, but he can bang, so that's a tough fight for either. Who do you think uh, comes away with the interim uh, title? You know, I don't know. The game is different now. Um, like I said, he hasn't fought one top five guy yet, and now he's fighting for a, a championship. Somehow it worked out. You know, people are, it's a business. People are excited about him. The UFC is definitely promoting him good. Um, so I think, um, I actually haven't thought about that fight. I was, I thought Gaslam was going to actually beat Whitaker. Um, Hey, I give I give Whitaker the, I mean I give gas on this fight too. Yeah. Um, I think it's a very interesting fight because um, you know the the Anderson Silva fight was an awesome fight, but you know he's in, he hasn't been really active and he's he's getting a little older. Um, so th this is really um, you know a guy like Gaslam is is really a really big test for um, for Adesanya, but um, I think I think he'll take it. Adesanya is going to take it, yeah. Now that's a good fight, but I'm still going to go with Israel on that one. I think he's got too many tools in his arsenal, um, and he's he's very good, you know. He's a good all-rounder. He's he's one of these guys that can kind of apply himself, and at the same time can adapt within the cage at any moment. So for me, yeah, 100% Adesanya. Kelvin Gastelum and Israel Adesanya. It's tough because uh, I don't know Kevin too much, you know, I, I saw, I know f few of his last fight. Uh, Adesanya, I've been watching him and training with him for a while, so, you know, I obviously like him uh, a lot. So I'm going with uh, Israel because, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's somebody I appreciate a lot. Yeah, I think uh, Israel Adesanya will get the knockout in the second round also. Yeah, Israel Adesanya and uh, Kelvin Gastelum for the interim title. Oh, man. You know, two, another two guys I kind of like. <laughs> um, I guess I like too many people in the sport. That's why I'm not <laughs> that good at fighting. It's because <laughs> I'm friends with everyone I fight and stuff like that. This guy was kind of mean, so maybe I'll beat him up. Uh, um, but uh, I don't know, man. I like Adesanya, man. Something about it. He's got cool swag, and I met him for the first time in the uh, um, MSG card, his last fight. And he, he's a really cool dude, normal, humble dude. Dude, uh, I liked him a lot, man. So, moon for him, man. I uh, think he's a, he's a, he's a stud. He hasn't really shown any changes in his army yet either. I mean, Kelvin's good at everything, and he's 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 a tricky lefty. But all those lefty tricks that he's been using aren't going to work on our son. He's seen it all. So I, I got Israel on that one. Right, not Kevin. Oh. That's a tough one, but I'd have to give it to Israel. I love his style. I feel like it's very exciting to watch, and I feel like he'll be able to catch Ke Kevin. Uh, Israel Adesanya and uh, Kelvin Gastelum for the interim title. That one's kind of like a weird style of a matchup because you got a guy who's like a heavy pace and move forward, and he's like pretty much a little blockhead with Kelvin Gustafson. And then uh, Adesanya is like so elusive and just that guy who create off the fly. It's gonna be. Uh, different styles, like somebody's gonna get knocked out, but I just don't know. For the mid uh, middleweight interim title, uh, Israel Adesanya and mm. Kelvin Gastelum. What do you think of that fight, and, and again, how do you think that plays out? Um, it, you know, it's difficult to say because obviously we, we've not seen a great deal of Kelvin Gastelum deal with awkward strikers. Um, he did excellently against Michael Bisping, getting him to overcome it with the right hand, but getting Adesanya to overcome it to something's very difficult, and I think Adesanya is gonna utilize the full five rounds, he's going to play the game, he's going to keep him on the outside and frustrate him. I think if, if Gastelum's smart, he'll lean on his wrestling credentials and he'll smother Gastelum. And something actually Chris Weidman said in the, the post-fight show at the weigh-ins today is that you know, Adesanya's not been tested by a good jiu-jitsu or a good wrestler. And I think, I think Gastelum's got good enough wrestling to cause him problems and to test that. Um, but Adesanya's a special athlete, there's no doubt about it. What we see him do from this point onwards is really down to how he deals with his next opponents. And throwing him in at the deep end with a, you know, a potential interim title shot puts him right up in the mix and it puts a target on his back. You know, I mean, Chris Weidman sounds like he wants a piece of Adesanya when he comes back as well. So there are a lot of tough fights for him. You know, if, if he does get that belt or at least you know, if he has a good performance against Gastelum, he's going to start looking at the Jacarés, the Yol Romeros of the world and that's when it gets really difficult. See, that's a tough one, but I'm going to have to go with Israel. Uh, he's, he's slick, man. He's real slick. So, Israel. Well, man, I think Gastelum, you know, because 
I've seen Adesana sometimes when people take him down and he keep his legs straight. Wow, there is no way to survive on the ground doing that kind of thing, you know. And uh, by the way, Gaslin, he has much bet better uh, takedowns and ground game. So, <laughs> Gaslin for sure. Um, again, that's a tough one. I think Kelvin. I think again, he's going to win by decision. I think Israel, you know, and I, I really like Kelvin. That's why I think he's a savage. But that is right. Just look, just look too tough to deal with. Then he? he's a tricky customer. So yeah, I go for him in that fight.